Hello and welcome to my Seasons After Fall game playthrough. This is part one. Um, I don't know how many parts I'll put to it or how long each episode will be. Um, but let's get into it. The menu here is actually <laughs> pretty cool. They've got a little bit of a noise when you change what option you choose. Um, if you do have this game, I'd go to your audio options and turn everything down quite a bit. When you boot the game up, it's quite loud and uh, honestly jarring. So make sure that you go there. I'm going to be playing with a controller today because um, it's going to be a little bit easier. And that's I, I think that's how it's actually supposed to be played. Um, so I'll let you watch the intro here. And this is the first time I am playing this game, so... Okay, so it looks like uh, we're a fox, and we saw something coming down from the sky, so we decided to run towards it. Smart? I don't know. Curious? Uh, definitely. Okay. Okay, so we're actually controlling right now. I'm not sure what's happening. I'm a blue sphere of some sort. Energy? I don't know. Okay, let's see if we can figure out what we're supposed to do here. Oh, okay, here's another sphere. <laughs> it disappeared after I touched it. Um, let's touch this guy. Same thing. Ooh, okay. Bark. Oh, okay. So I guess we're balls that can bark. Um interesting I don't know if we're supposed to be touching these guys but I'm gonna go ahead and touch them anyway so I don't have to come back and do it it's very dark this level um, I don't know what's going on so I'm not gonna try to explain it it doesn't make any sense to me maybe it makes sense to you um, but I am digging the art style. <laughs> this is actually really cool. Here we go. Okay. So it looks like we just bark at those guys to get them out of the way. Ooh, okay. Uh, we got into like a drift of some sort. <laughs> I'm really wondering at this point if I have to actually touch these guys. If I don't, I'm going to feel like an idiot. This is taking a little bit longer than it else would. Um, okay. So it looks like we're into another draft. Oh, and these guys are moving. Um, let's see. Am I supposed to go against the current here? Oh, here we go, okay. Let's bark at that. <coughs> so those guys are growing somewhere. I'm not going there. I'm my own little orb. I'm not a follower. So I got pushed up into here. Let's follow this vine. Okay, here's another one I can go on. Bark. I don't know how that makes any sense, but I can bark at it. So let's continue. Okay. Ooh, that 
Oh, no, 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 no. I'm being sucked into this guy right now. I can't do anything about it. Okay. Well, he ate us. Um. Okay, we got an achievement. I think that was supposed to happen. We'll have to see. <laughs> uh, the loading screen is quite cool. Okay. Here's another cutscene. Okay, so, uh... Okay. We made it out. No love. No love for the fox. Okay. Go up, Dean. Don't be ah, afraid. Look at these graphics, though. I mean, you, you can't tell me those are bad. Gently. Ooh, okay. I don't want to scare the thing, right? I don't know. It's, it's not letting me control not very much. Um, come over here. Um, I guess I gotta sneak up on him. Oh. That's it. Now entice him to the center of the sanctuary. Oh. I gotta talk to him. Okay. Come on, little fox. Let's go. Into the center. Okay, for the sake of, uh... This episode, I guess we'll call him Gus. This fox is really slow. Unless it turns out to have an actual name, we'll have to see. Stay there, little thief. Leave the rest to me. Okay. So Gus is gonna level up here, I guess. Oh wow. Okay, so um. Now you have a body, you'll be so. able to <laughs> the guardians of the heathen. I have no choice. I must stay here. This is interesting. Where do I start? I guess for lack of a oh, I know. better description, we just if planted a seed in, east, in Gus. Travel beyond um. the tall grass. You'll come to the edge of the woods. This is the domain of the Guardian of Winter. Huh. It has oh. something I need, and you alone can get it for me. So the barks make sense see. now. I can jump but crazy I high. <laughs> um, okay, so let's just keep going. Okay, so you can mantle ledges, it looks like. It's a cool little animation. Okay, let's make this jump. Boom. Okay, the platforming is a little bit wonky. Um, the response is... Okay, let's see if there's anything down here real quick. I wonder if you're supposed to go down here or up there. There's probably two ways that you can go. I'm going to go the top way, because um, that's probably where they want us to go. So we'll go up here, and we'll see what we can do. Okay. Another loading screen. Creek. Okay. Off you go, little feed. Run, jump, enjoy your new body. Okay. You won't ever get lost. I'll always be watching over you. See, that was weird. I a little bit of me went into that plant up there. I'm not sure why. It'd be nice if it gave me more. 
instructions. Okay, this looks like it does something. Maybe not. Well, I could totally be missing something. I don't know. Oh. Okay, so I... I guess I planted those things or helped them sprout. So I guess as cool as this game looks, it's uh, very, very confusing. I feel like I'm missing something. I mean, we're just running straight forward. Put V sync. Uh, there we go. Oh, okay. So that makes us boost off. Okay, there we go. We found a use for our bark. I think we're learning. Let's keep going. The music is very upbeat. I feel like we missed a lot. Um, maybe we'll go back. <laughs> Look at this little prance. If you do it slowly, that's funny. My dog actually prances when he walks towards me. It's kind of, it's kind of goofy, but it's funny. They were sculpted by the Guardian of Winter. Okay, let's keep going. They? Yeah, they're kind of creepy too. Such big paws. Don't say too much about them when you see the guardian. It might get upset. Okay, so we're going to meet this guardian. Whether it likes us or not, I don't know. Maybe it's gonna yell at us for missing a bunch of things. Ooh, that was close. Um, can't get too angry. It didn't really exactly tell us what we're supposed to do. Or give us any direction other than to jump. Actually, I don't even think the game told me how to jump. It told me how to bark. Um, the guardian loves sleeping amongst the totems. Follow them. They'll lead you to its lair. Okay, this is getting kind of creepy. But yeah, so the game's told me how to bark. And that's pretty much it. Um... I mean, I haven't d had to do anything else other than bark and jump, so it doesn't really matter. Ooh. I guess we were able to activate that all the way from back there. Oh, what's that guy? Okay, let's try to touch him. I don't know what he's doing. He just went into that rock. Huh. Ooh. What is this? Looks like I should be able to activate that. I don't know. Okay. Whatever. I don't know if we'll come back to these areas, or... Here we go, here's the jellyfish guy. Um... So Gus is staying strong. He's doing what he can with what he was given. 
place that allows us to go back if we want to go back. Why would we want to go back? Hmm. Here we go. Some flowers we can grow. See, there's that little, like, I don't know what you would call that, some type of growth on the tree. And that probably allows us up there, but I don't think I can make the jump, so I'm not going to. I don't know if I can die. I don't really want to find out. And that was a pretty large drop there, but I would rather not find out. So let's continue. Probably just supposed to run through these areas as fast as I can. I think. Okay, I fell down. There's something in here. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I think the jellyfish guy is trying to tell us something. He's he's telling us where to go. Um I think he's friendly. Oh, okay, here we go. Ah, oh, this, <laughs> this is so cool. I mean, the, the art style is, you know, it's so unique. He created a another seed. It's just floating out there. Oh, okay, never mind. Thought we made him angry. He looks okay. Let's see if we can touch him. Okay. Oh. Oh, well, we can. I'm guessing this is the guardian guy. I don't know. Kind of makes sense. Can't wake him up. This guy's tired. Or she, I don't know. Okay. Let's see. I guess we're f supposed to follow this guy. I sense you're on the way back, little seed, with a fragment of winter. Oh, okay. That makes sense. It's trying to communicate with you. It may react if you bark. Bark twice if it's a bit deaf. Oh. Okay. There's a lot of stuff going on, guys. Okay, let's just uh, let's follow the blue guy. Uh, I can already tell this game is going to confuse me. Um, but dang, it looks so nice. The sounds are. Spot on. The art style is interesting. Okay, I don't... <laughs> I don't know what I did. I think that's... Okay, so I barked twice to change... The season, I'm guessing. Let's try that. Yep, okay. Very cool. This is going to allow us. Let's see. So these guys only work. Turns that off when it goes to winter. I don't know. Let's continue. Hmm. 
really amazed me. You're quicker than I thought. Just goes to show, you can't judge a book by its cover. Oh, that the fragment's was... heading towards the sanctuary. Don't that let it out of your sight. That was close. Oh. See, I wonder if I'm supposed to be... Am I supposed to be sucked in there? I don't know, does that activate it to spit out the snow? I, I think that's what it is. Yep. Let's see. Yup. Okay. Guy wants me to jump over here. Well, okay. he wants me to go down. So we are now safe on the ground, running back with the blue guy, and we got another cutscene. Or not? Level change. We're back at the creek. I don't. I didn't do very much in this level. Oh. Okay. That wasn't nice. I can't do anything there anymore. Ah uh ha -huh. Winter fresco achievement. I don't suppose the guardian of winter told you anything. Well, you have to excuse it. It's always very tired. Oh, okay. You're just the guardian of winter. Even the animals don't venture into this forest. Hmm. I guess I missed this. I don't want to rush you, little seed, but it's vital that you bring the fragment of winter back to the sanctuary. How did I miss this? What's up there? Whatever. I don't know who this lady is in the background, but she's very bossy. But basically, they're very old now. So old that they tend to talk rubbish. But luckily, they're here to protect the fragments. They just have to learn how to let go of them. Dang it. Okay. Let's do that. It's gonna allow us to get up on that platform and then. You're going to want me to change seasons. Easy peasy, jump on the onion thingy. Change it back. And we did it. Okay. Aha. Oh. That doesn't look good. Oh, maybe it's fine. Look, little seed. The fragment's already in place. It's waiting for you. Move into the center. Go on. Don't be afraid. Uh. I don't know. Going to have to separate you from the fox. Oh. The fragment may react violently during the night. <laughs> oh no. I'll be as careful as I can, but uh, it's still a tricky procedure. Don't hurt Gus. I think it would be best for the fox to get out of the way. Gus is a nice guy. Oh, he's not moving. Oh no, he's okay. long since we've seen snow here now it's winter for good that was an interesting now, noise someone who sure hates ceremony huh <laughs> you should possess the fox again before he escapes 
it's so weird. Possess Gus. Come here, Gus. Where you at, my man? You at him. Listen, Jossie. There are four seasons, four guardians. If you merge with the other seasons, you can invoke them at any time. But to do that, we need the fragments. The second guardian lives in a swamp further to the west. I should warn you, this one doesn't like visitors. Ooh. So keep nice and quiet. Nice and quiet. I don't know how we change. So we got the winter guy, but how do we get the other guy back? Power of the seasons. Okay, anyway, I think that's where we'll end the first episode. We got the winter essence or whatever it was. I guess I don't remember what they said. Um, we met the winter guardian, a big fat bear that, you know, spit out a seed and <laughs> then he fell asleep so but he was kind enough to give it to us that's what matters um just quick uh this game actually kind of reminds me of the of the um what was it the hungry caterpillar book um when we were kids it kind of has this you know almost like painted art style to it um obviously this is a little bit more um, I guess you could say sophisticated or whatnot, but it does remind me of that. Um, but overall, it's a very good looking game, and hopefully it's uh, fun, but maybe it will just look nice and whatnot. So anyway, thank you for watching the first episode. The second episode, I guess we'll go to the swamp and see if we can get into some trouble. Okay, thanks for watching.